to my channel. This is Divested Diamonds. You have arrived. Hello, ladies. Please do me a favor and click the like button as you watch this video. Thank you. Thank you kindly. So I was bored about a couple of days ago and decided to walk these YouTube streets. And I came across a video of this black woman ranting and raving about the justice system and how it's been so unfair to R. Kelly. Now, I listened for a few minutes and thought, oh, another super mammy. I went through her videos only to realize that this woman's whole channel, <laughs> her entire channel was dedicated to R. Kelly. She has like a few videos where she sings, but the rest of her content is R. Kelly based. I mean, I wasn't surprised because we talk about these dangerous mammies all the time. We talk about the ones who put on their capes and fight for degenerate men. Now, I'm currently working on a similar video too, but I just wanted black women to know that these are the types of women who've been holding it down for these black men for all these years. These are the types of women who are willing to throw black women and girls under the bus for the attention of a black male. So after R. Kelly's verdict, as you know, he was sentenced to 30 years in prison. Yay! You know what? Thank you. Thank you so much, Judge Donnelly. The sane women of divestment appreciate that. Thank you. Like I was saying, after R. Kelly's verdict, I went back to this woman's channel to hear what she had to say because I was curious, right? I really wanted to know. And boy, oh boy. <laughs> wow. Like she had made a two hour plus video complaining about the unfairness of Judge Donnelly and how corrupt the justice system is. And it was the theatrics for me, right? She had a tissue in her hand and had visibly been crying. It was just so bizarre to me. But anyway, I'm going to be responding to the first 10 minutes of her stream. And without further ado, let's get started. Wow. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in if you want to know the, what these damn people have done. Oh, my God. This judicial system we have here, this is shit is ridiculous. I cannot believe what they have sentenced this man to. I wonder if I should have, man. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe it. What is wrong? So this judge, because I went over, I read over her reasoning as to why she denied the motions. She only recapped the trial. She didn't mention any of the shit that has come out and what, and she just ignored everything Jennifer had to say. So the verdict shouldn't be uh, too much of a surprise, but the length is ridiculous. 
So she, to me, this judge, there's no way she could have read that mitigating uh, mitigation report. It's the theatrics for me. The fact that she thinks that she knows more on this case than the judge does tells me how delusional a lot of these R. Kelly fans are. Again, women like these are to be avoided and side-eyed because if a black man violated you in any way at all, they would be blaming you for it. What did you do? What did you have on? These are the types. With all the overwhelming evidence on R. Kelly and his handlers, on how they drove around grooming girls and young women, how can you sit there and pretend that their stories and experiences don't matter? These Cape Queens are dangerous ladies. Watch out for women who are black male identified. They don't care about black women and girls and they will feed you to the wolves in support of a black male. You can tell she's a diehard fan. And just an observation, could she be related to Andrea Kelly? You know, R. Kelly's ex-wife? She does favor her a little bit. Either that's the case or perhaps she's trying to look like her because maybe she feels a sense of closeness to him. Who knows? Let's continue. How can you ignore what the damn experts, you're gonna give this man 30, year, 30 years because of relationships with his girlfriends? You're going to get this man thirsty. So you done gave this man life in prison. You done gave this man 30 years, Judge Donnelly. Are you serious right now? Yes, Judge Donnelly was serious because this wasn't a joke. R. Kelly is a monster. R. Kelly is a monster who abused women and children for almost three decades until he had the book thrown at him. And enablers like yourself and the rest of these mammies in the so-called community helped this man ruin a lot of girls' and women's lives. If you were to ask me, I'll tell you this. The judge was too reasonable with that 30 years. She should have given him life because that's what he deserved. The problem with women like you is that you are so desperate for black male attention that you don't care about the pain and suffering that these pedos, these predators inflict on your so-called community. You don't care. Let's continue. Because that, that, Fucking memorandum that you put in there. That's re I couldn't believe what I was reading. All of that has already been debunked. So what was the delay in what you're doing here? I can't believe you judge Donald. You should be ashamed. Now you basically prove that this is some other shit that's going on. No one gets life. Ashamed of what? She had nothing to lose or gain from doing her job. But I'll tell you what, she has gained my respect, putting that predator away. And here we go with the conspiracy theories, right? What do you mean by there's something else going on? There is nothing else going on here. Stop it. Let's face it. You are too emotionally invested in this man because you hate women and girls. You're a fan. You love him. You love his music. And you know, maybe some of your kids were conceived to his music, but who knows and who cares, right? The truth of the matter is, Blackistan has been coddling this man for a while now. And you know what they say. What's done in the dark 
will always come to light. The man is a narcissist, a monster, an emotional vampire who got away with performing heinous acts on unassuming women and girls. His day of reckoning would soon come. R. Kelly got exactly what he deserved. Let's continue. Because they broke up with some women that they used to date. Are you serious? You're going to give this man 30 years, Judge? So you say, damn the experts. Damn the fact that you witnessed that your, your witnesses on the stand live. You're dismissing all of that. You didn't read the letter from one of the government's witness in the mitigation report telling you she didn't want to do it. She was threatened. She was forced to do it. What do you guys have over these people that you threaten these people? Because I really believe this is some deep, this is some real low down. I don't know who's pulling strings, but you people, you're going to give this man 30 years over sex with his girlfriends? Are you serious? 30 years over sex with his girlfriends? <laughs> Ma'am, 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 I'm going to need you to pipe down and calm yourself. It wasn't just sex with his girlfriends. He aired these women. He defecated on them. And if they didn't consent to that, it's called abuse. He peed on them. And according to reports, he was heavily into humiliation rituals during sex. He starved these women, sorry, his girlfriends. He gave them STDs and some of them had to abort pregnancies that he helped create. Ladies and gentlemen, the degeneracy continues. No one has anything against this man, ma'am. He's not that important. He is a sick and twisted individual who got put away because he had been doing this a very long time without getting caught. He got cocky. He got too comfortable. He bought his way out of a lot of these situations, allegedly, and used his celebrity to coerce young girls and women into believing that he would help them with their career. Did they see any of that? Nothing happened with a lot of them. R. Kelly is a liar, manipulator, predator, who had to be put away because he is a danger to women, girls, boys, and society. You can rant all you want, but just remember this. Facts don't care about your feelings. Let's continue. I mean, where they participated. You're going to give this man 30 years because of how he likes to have sex with the women that he dates. That Faith Evans bullshit about this damn herpes shit is your fault too, Faith. You should have protected your damn self. You knew that man was a damn celebrity. The hell you laying around with any damn man without protecting your damn self. So you gonna blame him? Who's to say the man even knew when he slept with your ass that he even had the goddamn herpes? Who knows? Maybe he didn't find out till afterwards. Who the hell knows? Who's to say that you didn't give it to him? See what I mean? Protect the black man at any cost. These women are unbelievable. I mean, if he made her believe that they were in an exclusive relationship and lied about that, why would she suspect anything? I do agree with you, however, only on one particular point here, which is ladies. If you're gonna engage in sexual activity with someone who has a checkered past, 
or someone that you're trying to get to know, protect yourselves. If you are still having sex with these black males, especially, I don't know why you would, but to each their own, double or triple that protection because you can't have complete confidence in these sexually promiscuous men who have sex with animals, women, girls, boys, and other men. Most men, men such as R. Kelly, who have no respect for boundaries, usually come with a little surprise or little surprises, right? But yeah, look at the level of masculinity being displayed here by this mammy. She turned herself into a Wakanda warrior fighting for a grape, a grape that she doesn't even know. Well, I'm assuming that they don't know each other personally, but yeah, this is the level of activism that ages you ladies. This is the level of activism that makes you look like a grape. This right here is very Naker adjacent. Let's continue. No one knows. So how the hell you get this man 30 years, Judge Donnelly? Come on, you didn't do that. What is it? What is wrong with you people? I'm coming, I'm listening to these other channels posting this bullshit and these people, woo, 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 woo. People, this is some bullshit. I can't believe you people really believe this man deserves to be in prison because of his relationships. So all of the relationships you didn't had and you didn't let the man take advantage of you and do the shit he did. So you gonna put all that energy on this 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 uh superstar. So he's taking the fall for all of the damn men that have done you damn women wrong. When I don't blame the fucking man, I blame you. Mm, 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 mm. That behavior right there and the last thing she said, I blame you, is the reason the so-called community keeps concealing incest, child molestation, and other acts of sexual deviancy. When you as a woman are part of a community that values men more than it does women and girls, it becomes extremely unsafe for you because it's always open season and a continued excuse to violating you. When you have women putting on their capes and protecting men, Regardless of bad behavior, the children and other women of that so-called community can never be safe. Look at her. Look. Just keep looking. Look at her. She doesn't even realize just how tragic she looks. It's sad. It's pathetic. It's disgusting to see gender traitors at work. Look at her. She's popping veins for a group of men who are women, you know the rest, women and girls, and delete them every five and a half hours. These women do not care. These mammies do not care if the love is reciprocated or not. They just want a pat on the back from the black male. That means more to them than anything in this world. The attention that they get for pandering is worth more than gold. Because let me tell you, if they were to pick between a diamond and a degenerate black male, they would pick the latter. And that's sad. But let's continue. You were that stupid. You let a man do what, whatever the hell you endured. If it wasn't a forced situation, you did it. It wasn't the man. I'm not blaming the man for the shit you done gone through in your life. But you don't put that shit on somebody that's innocent. 
people. The women lied. This is not, this is no joke. We're not heartless towards some real damn victims. But there were no victims. Judge, why did you, why, judge, why did you do that? Why? Were you, did something happen to you? I guess all the girls he are all the women he are and abused, are liars now? This is ridiculous. Tell me something. Who in their right mind would want their face splattered across the internet for something like this? Why would any woman in her right mind want to be the poster child for this kind of crime? This is part of the reason women and girls never come forward. Women like her come a dime a dozen in the so-called community. Women who blame the victims and tell them that it's their fault for allowing a man to R them are sick. These are the toxic mammies who run Blackistan. If you've ever wondered what a super predator apologist looks like, exhibit A. These women are more dangerous than the perps themselves because they victim blame. They aid and facilitate toxic environments in which predators thrive. You heard what she said. She keeps saying that they are lying. But what proof does she have that could possibly absolve Robert Sylvester Kelly of what he did. I'll wait. Let's continue. And he, this case brought back some shit that happened to you? There's no way, Judge, the evidence that Jennifer Bone Jane presented before you, I can't believe you ignored all of it. You ignored all of it. You didn't take anything into consideration. This man is not a monster. People, I get it. I get it. I know the shit is going to be overturned. I get it. That's not the point. That's not the point. This is wrong. This is wrong. I can't believe it. Oh, wow. You're right. It's definitely wrong. You are wrong for sitting there and making a spectacle of yourself. And he was wrong for what he did to those women and girls. You are wrong for even thinking that Judge Donnelly didn't know what she was doing when she passed that sentence. You are wrong for making yourself look like a clown while wearing a hoodie with a pedo's face on it. You are wrong for supporting a predator while shaming the victims simply because you are a super fan. Let's continue. You gave this man 30 fucking years on basically some hearsay. Just because they said it, it makes it true. You people could not separate what this man, how he performs on stage, his job. You people could not separate his job from his personal life. They did do that. It turned out that Robert had an overinflated sense of self-worth. His ego was bigger than anyone could have ever imagined. And unfortunately for him, he thought that he was smarter than everybody else, but he wasn't. He played himself. You see, this is what you need to understand. Being Blackistani smart does not get you far in the real world. He surrounded himself with people that he knew he could manipulate and they gassed him up. They praised him, they lied to him, they called him a genius, huh, funny, because in Blackistan, that shit, for whatever reason, sounds impressive. They lied to him. 
In the real world, however, that mentality makes Blackistani citizens look crazy out here. You look like a cult. Most of you look like degenerates with IQs no higher than room temperature. It's sad and pathetic. Let's continue. You people ran with the lyrics of his music to make him the man. So whatever these women said, the man said in the damn, he told the damn doctors. He's never told anyone to call him daddy. He never came with, he didn't want to be called none of this shit. I'm be king. No, this is what the people came up with. And you use that shit in this so-called memo that you want to uh, 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 justify your damn why the reason why you denied this woman's motions. She was ready for your ass, though. She knew what you were going to do. I'm shocked at the time that you gave the man. This man was seen by several highly respected experts. And they, man, and they were told you in the report that what the government was asking was well beyond that damn scale or whatever chart you they went by. Okay. He said that man, if you're going to sentence him, he should not even be sentenced anything more than 10 years. You're going to throw 30 years on this man? So damn what the experts say. So that means that was just a waste of their time. Because you're saying, obviously, they don't know what they're talking about. So you dismiss that. Well, actually, the reason they asked for a shorter sentence was based on his claim of child molestation. They asked the judge to keep that into consideration because they felt that he was also a victim of circumstance. Why should he get a shorter sentence solely based on that? There are a lot of people out there who've been molested as children, but they don't go out there to do the same to other people. R. Kelly thought he was invincible. That's the problem here. The man is a narcissist. He strategically picked the right demographic to mess with because let's be honest, black women and girls are unprotected. And when such things happen, no one does anything about it. It was the perfect playground for him. He did what he did to those women because he could. He did what he did to those women and girls because he wanted to. He did it because he knew that he would get away with it. And he did for a while until his house of cards came tumbling down. The man is a danger to society, but especially to black women and girls. Let's continue. You guys did this shit deliberately because you know he is going to be overturned. You damn women. See, this is what happens when you're playing fucking games for some damn money. You started some shit that now you can't get out of. Now you done mess with this damn man's life on some bullshit. And now you women got this man in jail for the rest of his damn life. This is unbelievable. 30 years. Okay, let's all say it together. 30 years, 30 years, 30 years. Ah, I like the sound of that. Listen, lady, you can blame the women all you want. There's only one person at fault here, R. Kelly. That man chose not to control his sick urges. R. Kelly is obsessed with hurting women. He couldn't control the hatred that he has for women and girls. The issue for him was that he went too far and got caught with his pants down. You can call it a setup, call it a conspiracy, call it aliens for all I care. You can call it paranormal activity, whatever. 
He got what he deserved. Now, you can sit there screaming like a wild banshee, but the fact still remains that Robert Sylvester Kelly is a predator. Come on, let's say it together. Predator, predator, predator. Why are you making excuses for him? He is what he is. Look, R. Kelly has that demon energy and it seems as though he is stuck between two worlds. But we're not gonna go down that road. Let's continue. Oh my God. All of you fucking people that's involved in that shit should be ashamed of yourself for this setup. All of you, and you know who the hell you are. You know who you are. Are you happy? You got what you want? You silly ass women, are you finally happy? You got what you want? Yes, we got what we wanted. Well, kind of. Judge Donnelly did the best that she could within the confines of the law. And we will take that 30 years. Thank you. We'll take the 30 years. Hey, it's better than nothing. I mean, will this case be overturned? Perhaps. Bill Cosby got away with it based on a technicality. Could the same happen for R. Kelly? Well, let's not get too carried away with that right now. Today is a celebration, okay? This is great news for the victims, dead or alive. I mean, life would have been better, you know? The death penalty would have been fair, but 30 years will suffice. Mm-hmm. That man caused a lot of pain. He caused a lot of hurt. He caused a lot of damage to those women. He destroyed families, helped cause a lot of division. And the safest place for him right now is where he is. That is home for him. And he better make himself comfortable. It's kind of like what one of you diamonds said. Somebody has the soap in his ignition now. <laughs> yes. This is so, mm, 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 it's delicious. Listen, all he's going to need is a little bump and grind, right? And I'll bet that he wishes that he was still trapped in the closet. <laughs> Woo, delicious. The bottom line here is R. Kelly had no right to do what he did to those women regardless of circumstance. But you know how it is. Give a black man a little power and this is how most of them behave. At this point, we can all agree that this is not the kind of behavior that begins as an adult, right? A lot of these predators are putrid from a very young age. They take their issues and nasty behavior out on people who have nothing to do with their degeneracy. Much like the 17 year old in Baltimore named, wait for it, Tyrone Harvin. What a fitting name for someone so morally inept. This teenager was convicted of the brutal R-ring. We know what that means, right? And deletion of his 83 year old neighbor, now, this happened when he was 14 years old, right? Because they start very young. <laughs> it's not an exaggeration. That is the truth. Now, do you think that a boy that young who engages in such heinous activities can be rehabilitated? This is the kind of trash that floats around in Blackistan. This is the mindset of those running the show in Blackistan. Animals can get it. Little girls can get it. And talking about little girls, I have 
another story for you, okay, that I'm currently working on right now, involving a mother, her son, and the deletion of her daughter by her son. As always, she protected her son, right? And not the seven-year-old daughter. The same son who aired her seven-year-old daughter. But I digress. Tyrone Harvin, now 17, was found guilty on Wednesday of aring and deleting his neighbor, Dorothy May Neal, in her West Baltimore home on August 28th of 2018. Now, he was supposed to be helping her with chores. And this demon turned on her. See, they can't help themselves. He was found guilty of carrying a dangerous weapon and now faces a maximum sentence of life plus three years. Sentencing is scheduled for January 3rd of 2023. So the police were alerted to Dorothy's home by her neighbors who had filed a missing persons report, right? Because they were worried they hadn't seen her in a few days. Once inside the apartment, officers found Dorothy unresponsive. She was beaten, she was nude, and face up on the floor in her living room. She was surrounded by bloody clothing and a broken lamp with blood on it. Medics arrived and rushed her to hospital, but unfortunately, she didn't make it. At the crime scene, officers found several condom wrappers, used condoms, and blood on the floor in the living room where Dorothy was found. Police said that the fingerprints found on the condom wrappers belonged to Tyrone. DNA testing determined a partial profile consistent with Tyrone on the inside of a condom and the middle of the lamp, which also had the victim's blood on it. An autopsy and sexual assault exam found that Dorothy had suffered trauma to her head and genitals during the brutal attack. The office of the chief medical examiner ruled the cause of deletion as multiple injuries with complications. Tyrone's family, who did not appear in court on Wednesday, had said in 2018 that he was innocent. I know my son wouldn't do nothing like this, his mother told the Baltimore Sun in 2018. These mothers and their sons bins, okay, that's your son who's also your husband, right? Because these women are crazy. In their minds, they are married to their sons. My son, my son, my son didn't do nothing. These mothers and their didn't do nothing sons are dangerous. Listen, Pookie, Ray Ray, Tyrone, Glocktavius, Quantavius, and all the aviuses. These are their prized possessions, y'all. I mean, I don't know what else to add to this story, except we have been raising the alarm for quite a while now. A lot of these Blackistani dwellers, right, come to our channels just to call us haters because they don't believe in Black people exposing this mess. We hate ourselves, they tell us. We hate our blackness, they tell us. We need to talk and rebuild the community, they tell us. My question is, what community? Where is the community, sir? Where is the community, ma'am? And you wonder why divestors are ashamed of you? This is y'all's community. It has nothing to do with us. All I can say at this point is protect your girls. We need to protect the girls and we need to protect women who are closest to us ladies, especially 
in the current situation with Roe v. Wade being overturned. I hate to say this, but it has to be said. It's going to be open season for those of you stuck in Blackistan. They are letting people out of jail on little to no bond. Where do you think that these people are going? Back into your neighborhoods. They are being allowed to reoffend. Divestment is the only way out of this mess. If you can afford it, please move as far away as possible from the R. Kellys and the Tyrones of this world. Because guess what? They don't care about you or your well being, and they don't give a rat's ass what happens to you. On that note, please leave your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And remember, ladies, divest, divest, divest. Thank you so much for watching. This is Divested Diamonds, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Diamonds.